Hi everyone, welcome to this video. We are going to look at navigation drawer. We are going to add two menu at the side. As you can see here, I have setting and profile. When I click at setting, I'm going to open a custom plugin. So I'm going to teach you how to add custom fragments into your navigation drawer. We are also going to add a profile which when I click opens a new activity. So we are going to learn how we can be able to add menus and be able to open fragment and an activity when a side navigation bar is clicked. So let us get started. To begin, I'll begin by creating a new app or project. So go to file, new project. And then I'm going to select navigation drawer activity. Give your project a name. In this case, we can call it navigation drawer. And then select the language. I'm using Kotlin. You can leave the rest as default and then click finish. You will notice Android Studio will take some few seconds to load your project. And once that is done, we can now proceed with adding new menus. So our project is loading. It's now initializing and we are done. As you can see, we can try learn this project as it is before adding anything and see what we get by default. So I'm going to close this one because this was a demo application that I created before. So as you can see, Gradle is building. Let's wait. Our application is installing. And there we are. We have a home. We have gallery. If we click, it opens the gallery. And then we have slideshow. So we are going to add settings and profile here. Setting will open a fragment. Profile will open an activity. Before we add the two menus, let us first understand the three key components. So we have the navigation, uh, which is here. As you can see, we add our fragment and then we make sure that within it, we add the destination where we want it to go. For example, we have navigation home, which when I click it, it takes me to home fragment. As you can see here, we have fragment navigation home and then it has this name, which is the destination, which is home fragment. And then we have gallery. The same case, if I click on it, it takes me to, this is gallery fragment, which is located here. And this is under the attribute name. If I go to Java, and then UI, I'll get this gallery fragment and this home fragment. Now, we also have something in our main activity called navigation host. Let's go main activity. And then the XML file is here. And I'm going to go to this layout, up bar layout. And within the up bar layout, we have content main. So if you check here, we have this fragment. And then uh, we have the name as navigation host fragment. It's here. This one is the one that displays the destination from the navigation graph. Remember this one we have called it the navigation graph. And then when I click home, it's taking me to home fragment. And this home fragment is loading this layout. This uh, fragment is displayed in our activity main adder a uh, fragment with the name navigation host. And then we have navigation controller, which facilitates the displaying of this destination fragment in our navigation, in our navigation host. So those are the key main components. We have navigation graph. We define all our fragments and their destination. And then we have navigation host, which uh, is a container that is used to display our navigation graph destination. And then we have navigation controller, which facilitates the displaying of that destination.
plug mode. So now to add new items in our side menu, what we need to do is open menu and then we have activity menu drawer. And then we are going to define two items. The first item will be item name. And then I'll have an ID here. And I'm going to call this one navigation settings. And then I will give it an icon. So you can download a setting icon. Go to file, new, vector assets. And then search for setting. See here. Copy this one. Then, so the icon will be a drawable, drawable, a base setting 24. And then I'll give it title. And for title, I'm going to define it under settings. So I'm going to have string. And then I'm going to have menu settings, which will be settings. Going back here, and then the title will be menu settings. It's here. The next menu that we want to add is the profile. So we have item. We have item. And then we are going to give it ID. And the ID I'm going to have is now profile. And then I'm going to have an icon. So I'm going to download a profile icon. So I'm going to file new vector assets. And then I'm going to download a profile account. They can use this one. So I'm going to have the icon to be drawable. Instead of this, I'm going to have account circle 24 and then i'm going to give it a title and for the title i'm going to go to my strings and i'm going to add a different uh, menu and i'm going to call it menu profile and then here i can have profile so i'm going to back to activity main drawer and then i'm going to have add string then menu profile so as you can see here we have settings and then this is menu profile and we have profile let's learn our application again So now we have settings and profile. Right now, if I click, nothing happens. Let's create fragment and our activity. So go to your UI under your package name and then create a new package. And then we are going to call this one settings. Create another one for profile. This one, I'm going to call it profile. So at the settings, I'll create a new Kotlin class and I'm going to call it settings fragment. And this will extend fragment. Then inside it, I'm going to have on create. this one and here what you are going to do is have val we can call this one view or loot let me call it view is equal to infrata dot infrate all dot layout dot now we need our layout here so i'm going to create a layout and then i'm going to call this one fragment settings so back here and then i'm going to have all import all 
dot layout dot fragment settings and then i'm going to give this one container and attach to loot i'm going to give it false then we can return view let's remove this one and then inside the profile we are going to create an activity so i'm going to have new activity and i'm going to have empty activity and this one i'm going to call it profile profile now we have our activity and our fragment import this all so the next thing that we want to do is to include a text here so that we can be able to distinguish when we open a fragment and our activity so this is fragment settings so i'm going to have a text view inside it so i'm going to have a text view which i'm going to lab content lab content and then i'm going to constrain it start of parent end end of parent top top of parent and then bottom bottom of parent text size we can give it 20 and then the text will be this is settings fragment let us now do the same to our profile activity so i'm going to go to activity profile and here i'm going to define a text view lab content lab content i'm going to constrain it so i'm going to have start of palette then i'm going to have end of palette i'm going to have top of palette and bottom of palette i'm going to give this one a text and the text will be this is profile activity so remember this is an activity and this is a fragment now what we need to do is to define our, our destinations inside our navigation graph so what we are going to do is to have a fragment and then this fragment i'm going to give it id which will be now settings and then the name i'm going to give it to settings fragment the ribbon i'm going to give it menu settings label menu settings and finally i'm going to give it layout and the layout will be at layout settings fragment settings so as you can see here if you want to see it here you need to drag it and drop it here so it's here navigation settings so we need to define our activity here activity and this one i'm going to give it id which will be now profile and then the name will be profile activity i'm going to give it label and then it will be menu profile and finally i'm going to give it the layout which is activity profile so it's created here you can just drag it and drop it here so now the next all the last thing that we need to do is to define these ones into our main activity adder up bar configuration so i'm going to have all dot id dot nav remember we are adding settings and then all dot id dot nav profile so now we are going to learn our application and see which results uh, we are going to get click now that learn button so by default this is home fragment gallery this is gallery fragment slideshow this is slideshow fragment setting this is setting fragment and then profile a new activity opens so we've been able to add custom fragment and activity in our navigation 
withdrawal activity if you have any question you have a problem or you are unable to work with your android project check on the link where you can be able to find me also if you would like to take a course on android app development check on the description you will get a link where you can get course at a discounted places remember to subscribe for more tutorials